Kayville, Saskatchewan is known to be one of many ghost towns in the province of Saskatchewan because all buildings, schools, and most of the homesteads are vacant. Like other rural towns in Saskatchewan, the population of Kayville has declined dramatically. The farm economy went down, and with no money to be made, the population dropped, the schools closed, the grain elevator shut down, and the railway was taken away. In 1970, the community's population reached over 100 citizens, with over 30 businesses active. Today, the population has dropped drastically to less than 10 residents, and there are no more businesses in town. Okay, guys, here we are again, another little uh, small ghost town. We're now in the small village, gorse, village or ghost town known as Kayville in Saskatchewan. So there's a church back here behind me, and there's more stuff to see as we go down the street. So uh, probably not going to get in here, but uh, let's go check it out. All right, nice, beautiful red and white church. Probably nice inside, but I think it's going to be locked up. Yeah, it's got padlocks on these two locks. This one looks like it's been nailed shut. Oh, it's probably so nice inside. All right, guys, we're trying something a little different because it's a little bit of a larger ghost town, so we're gonna drive around and I'll pull in when I see something interesting. It's not a completely barren ghost town though. There are people that live here. So here's a little property with some houses on it. Ghost town houses. Right there. I think I'm gonna stop there. But there you go, a couple of houses. And there's the grain elevator right there. And then there's a house there in the corner that people live in. So that's what I was talking about. That it's not a complete ghost town. All right, so we got a few things here to check out. Like I said, I'm not gonna go into all these buildings, but so this is most definitely a little ghost town. Here you've got what looks like a shop right here. And you've got a couple of houses over there. And then whatever's going on here, you've got this store. The cooperative community center. This building here has got cameras on it for some reason. A whole bunch of them. Holy cow, there's like three cameras. That's called the Georgian Hotel, built in 1951. There's your community center, which is closed. This is quite the interesting little town, guys. Huh. And then again, way back there, there's that church where we first started. So you can see how big this little ghost town is. Okay, so there's the church we started at. And then there's the road we were driving. So I'm going to zoom all the way out here. There's a little red and white abandoned house right here. red ladders on the garage there. That's a pretty cute little house, eh? It's pink inside. See that? Look at this is a garden gnome. Look at this guy here, eh? Look at this. There he is. <laughs> Oops, okay. Smelled. Ooh, floors are soft.
All right, I'm going to take some pictures. I'll be right back. Okay, I found a little staircase here. Let's go upstairs. These are little stairs. What the heck? Oh, man. I didn't see this coming. Look at this room. Look at all the dolls. Oh. Oh, wow. This is a good house. Wow. I didn't expect to see any of this. Probably the most interesting house I've seen on this trip. Okay. Look at all the stuff in here. Another one of those Colonel Sander piggy banks. Wow, guys. This is a cool house. This is something, guys. Wow, this is the biggest ghost town I've seen so far. I did talk to a nice guy just now named Randy. And he said, yeah, there's about three or four people or, or homes living here. But the rest of it is abandoned. Some of the abandoned houses have actually been fixed up. And Randy actually gets paid to cut the grass. And keep it looking nice. This is crazy. Wow. All right, so we're going to keep driving a little bit. There's this house right here. This looks like someone lives here, probably. Fewer cars than this one. So there's that little house I did right there. There's somebody else's that li somebody lives in that house. There's the church. Grain elevator. Okay, we're gonna wrap it up at the church. It's a bigger church at the end of the city, at the end of the city, the town. I'll be right back, be right back, guys. So guys, what we're gonna do now, there's a church right here. This is where I'm gonna wrap up, and I'm gonna get my drone, and I'm gonna fly around the town so you guys can see just how big this little uh, ghost town is. And uh, we'll see the church from a different angle, and I'll just check out the town from the drone point of view. Then we're gonna move on to something else, and this will be the, the end of this video. So glad I came here, guys. This is a really cool little ghost town. They actually do have some, there's a number of these, house, of these modular homes all through the town, so I wonder if they're planning on uh, going a little bit in this town. So anyways, guys, don't leave yet. We're gonna throw the drone up. We're gonna check this place out here behind us, and then we're gonna go. So uh, don't leave yet, but thanks for watching, guys, and uh, see you guys in the next adventure. In 1905, Romanian settlers seeking free government land under the Dominion Lands Act founded Kville.
The name Kayville comes from Billy McKay. He named the community by taking the K from his last name and adding Ville. Settlers began to build in Kayville around Main Street and homesteads outside the community. The first homesteads were built in 1906, and the homesteaders consisted of farmers and ranchers. Around 1912 to 1913, Kayville was big enough to maintain a post office, and a school was established. The community boomed with the arrival of the Canadian Pacific Railway in 1924. Kayville became a thriving agricultural-based community, large enough to become an organized hamlet by 1951. In 1970, the community's population reached over 100 citizens. Although the population has dropped drastically to a mere 10 residents, residents from Regina and surrounding cities have realized the potential Kayville has to offer because of its proximity to the city and have started buying land in and around Kayville, bringing hope for a better and more prosperous future. The swimming pool and community center complex were built in 1984 and used for many community functions. Kayville once had a variety of businesses, but due to the decline of population in the 1980s to 90s, Kayville now only has a post office. The Kayville Credit Union was open every Wednesday until September 2016. Kayville is known to be one of many ghost towns in the province of Saskatchewan because all buildings, schools, and most of the homesteads are vacant, like other rural towns in Saskatchewan. Kayville has declined dramatically. The farm economy went down and no money to be made. The population dropped, schools closed, the grain elevator shut down, and railway was taken away. In 1970, the community's population reached over 100 citizens. Today, the population has dropped drastically to less than 10 residents.